The following program is rated TV PG. Some scenes may be too scary for children under seven. We suggest watching together as a family. I think I should just wrap a plastic bubble around you. <coughs> or have this whole place quarantined. <coughs> oh. You know, Alex, I know you hate being helpless, but it gives me a chance to clean up around here and to take care of you. <coughs> This thing just won't go away. Don't worry, sweetie. I'm gonna call the doctor and get you something to help with the fever. Gone to pick up medicine. Be back in a bit. Stay in bed. You need your rest. Stay in bed? Uh, I don't think so. <sighs> Man, it's about time she left me alone. She just loves it when I'm sick. She gets to totally treat me like a little baby. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not even that sick anyways. <laughs> Except for my stupid throat. <laughs> And the kid has a brilliant idea. Ah, ice cream. It's good for what ails ya. <coughs> oh, no, tell mom. But Alex doesn't need his rest as much as he needs the best bowl of ice cream ever in the world. Oh, don't be so messy, Alex. Look who's being messy now. <sighs> Being home alone. Frogs. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Isn't it so fast in the morning? Well, I have a 
was feeling good. What happened? Oh. Again, maybe this cheese ball is making me ill. It's back so bad for you, Alex. Vacuum? Nice table. Good table. It's so hot. Alex, you're hearing things. And feeling things. It's just loopy from being in bed so long or something. <sighs> Maybe you just need some fresh air. Sure, Mom told you to stay in bed, but <clears throat> she's not back yet. That's sick. I'm just sneak out for a second and then you come right back. Hey! Hey! Hey, what's the deal? No, seriously, what up? to do in 
the situation. Inside your house all alone. Okay, you're trapped inside your slimy house all alone, but uh, but that's okay. Because you can take care of yourself, right? Right. Maybe you're not all alone in the house after all. Great. Don't you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the children are from all over Europe. And Alex, we need you to pay attention. I know I heard you that time. No, come on. I don't even like that show. Alex, we can't help you if you don't listen to us. Are you doing that? Several inches of rain. Good, we've got your attention, Alex. Now, whatever you do, don't are expect it to don't fall overnight. What? Coming up, the secrets of Tinseltown. Don't. don't cut yourself off. You have to go back downstairs. Downstairs? Seriously? But the thing's down there. Ever wonder how the stars stay so young? If you don't act fast, that thing will be everywhere. How? With the miracle of alpha hydroxies. No, not that. I mean, what's the point of going downstairs? I can't go anywhere. They've quarantined me. They're not quarantining you. They're quarantining it. I knew I wasn't that sick. Well, of course, what's the diff? I'm still stuck in here with, with that scary thing. You can still survive, but you have to go back downstairs. Go, now. Whatever you say, TV. <laughs>
everywhere. Alex, there's something we need you to do. Listen very carefully, we haven't much time. We can't keep the connection open for long. Hey! Alex, no! Quiet! Mom! My mom's out there! Alex, there isn't time. No, no, it's cool! She'll take care of everything, she's mom! 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 Mom in here! Alex, don't listen! I can't hear! Alex, it's more important that you pay attention. You have to do exactly what we say. Mom! She's... crying. No! Mom, it's okay! I'm in here! We must exterminate. I'm sorry, Alex. We didn't want you to hear that. We can still help you, but you have to pay attention. That's the poison, Alex. They want to destroy this thing. You were just collateral damage. Tell me something I don't know. You can destroy the thing before they do. You can save yourself. And your mother. Mom's in trouble. Their plan will fail. That thing will keep growing and it will get out. We know how to destroy it. But there's precious little time. And you need to choose to fight the thing. I'll do it. Good. We knew we could count on you. Now you'll need to go. No! But how do I kill it? How do I kill it? No, 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 don't worry! I'm gonna kill it! Careful. Don't let it get its tentacles around you. Don't worry. I got this. Fate chose you, Alex. You may not have a TV guy telling you what to do anymore. But that thing's still gotta be killed. And you're the only one to kill it. You can do this. You have to do this. For my mom, and for all the moms. All right, slimy thing. You don't need to save me. I save you. See, there was this monster. There was. With these long tentacle things. Honey, that was just the vacuum. The vacuum? But, but there were guys sealing me in with, with plastic like a quarantine. You mean this plastic from the painters? Sweetie, they've been here all week. No, no not that. There was a guy, lots of guys, with these big masks. Oh, him! Oh! I'm sorry, kiddo. I gave him quite a scare at the window earlier. That 
That's what I saw. But I heard stuff inside the house. Taya. I don't know why I bothered to clean down here. I had no idea what he was doing. Such a mess. Don't be too hard on him. Looks like that fever really got the best of him. But, but the TV. The TV kept turning back on. And that guy with really good hair, he kept telling me to fight it. You are fighting it, sweetie. That's what a fever means. And sometimes a fever makes us see strange things. No, no, I wasn't just seeing things. I could feel the slime. It, it was everywhere. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Gross. But, but still, it felt so real. I thought I was fending off an alien invasion or something. Well, you certainly are dressed for one. It's nice to see your imaginations recovered. Now, let's get the rest of you healed. And that means rest, okay? You got it. Okay. Let's get this gear off you and get upstairs. No more crazy dreams for me. Good. Alex, pay attention. We are not a fever dream. They are. They want you to quit. But you have to keep fighting, Alex. No. Just, just a dream. That's right, Alex. Alex, we can't help you if you don't listen to us. Alex! Alex!